This is a circuit diagram of a half-wave rectification um, circuit. And what we have to do with all systems is convert your AC voltage that comes out of your household plug to a DC voltage so your electronic equipment can work with it. Here in the UK, we have 240 volts AC at 50 hertz. And that measurement, that voltage, uh, 240 volts AC, is that's the RMS value. That's not the peak value. Over here, we have a sine wave, which represents the uh, signal, your, your mains voltage coming into your house. This is one cycle. We are coming from zero here, up to its peak voltage, back down to zero, and down to its minus peak voltage, and then back up to zero. That is one cycle. And in your house in the UK, you would have 50 of those a second. The peak voltage here is around 385 volts plus, and then the peak and the minus is 385 volts minus. And that voltage appears on the live and neutral. This top one here is live, bottom one is neutral. They alternate between positive and negative. To rectify uh, this AC waveform, we need a thing called a diode. This allows current to flow only one way. In this circuit, it allows it to flow in this direction only. And then on the next half cycle, when this side is positive and this is negative, it won't allow it to flow. You can consider this wire here as a pipe. That water is flowing in this direction. And this diode then is like a one-way valve. It only lets the water flow in this direction. Then when it tries to flow through the load and back up here, it won't allow it to go. It's a one-way valve. A diode is similar. So let's just have a look at this uh, uh, circuit the way it actually works. When this top line here is positive, current will flow through this diode. You see it here on this sine wave when it's up here. For this whole positive half wave of this uh, cycle, you will be getting a voltage going across this diode. And that would represent over here. This is what you would see on this side of the diode. As you know, you haven't, you haven't got a negative cycle here. It's cut off. You'll have these peaks. And those peaks are at 50 hertz. If you measure them on your oscilloscope, they will be at 50, 50 hertz. So it goes from 0, 3 at 5, down to 0 for this period that this negative half cycle is missing and then comes back up again. So what we have on this output is a variant voltage between 0 volts and uh, 385 volts. It's, uh, there's a lot of ripple on it. Your electronic equipment can't work with this. So what we do is we put on in the circuit a smoothing capacitor. Uh, you can consider a smoothing capacitor like um, a battery. When this voltage is high on this spot here. It charges this capacitor. So when the next time it goes down to zero, it retains that charge. So instead of this waveform here, you would get a kind of a waveform like this. It would The, the voltage would rise and rise as the ch capacitor charges. And then during this period here, the zero volts, it would start slowly discharging. So you would have nearly a straight line going across. Most sets, however, use a thing called full wave rectification, which is a little bit uh, more complicated than this. But the principle is the same, only for we rectify both positive and negative. We change the polarity of this, 
and I will show you that in the next video. If this capacitor was faulty, you would get a 50 hertz hum. If it was, a, say, a radio, you would hear a 50 hertz hum from the speaker, and you would have that type of ripple. That's what you, you would see on the oscilloscope. That's the best I can do with my drawn skills. They're not the best. This load here represents your, uh, could be your TV, uh, radio, or any other electrical appliance. The principle is still the same. You, you have to, to use rectify smooth uh, the voltage. And in some circuits then you will uh, cut that vol voltage down. There's a couple of ways they cut the voltage down. Either by a transformer here, to cut this voltage here down, using a transformer from 240 volts AC, let's say 12 volts uh, AC, and then rectify it. Uh, however, when I'm saying 12 volts uh, AC, um, you might, uh, the, the transformer might be rated at about uh, 9 volts AC, and then the peak be around, around the 12 volts, because multimeters do not measure or they do not record the peak value here they're not quick enough so what they do is they will uh, give you an average value of this sine wave here it's called the rms value 